Hey guys, it's Amory and Mr. Beezer. I don't know how long he's gonna stay up here and I'm just playing around. Um, I need still to cover my crown a little bit and plus my roots are so gray. I hate it. Um, actually, I don't hate it. It's just the in-between stage where it's like, you know. But anyway, so I, BZ's not much of a card pull kind of cat. That's Galaxy, but who knows where he's at. And it's starting to be kind of like loud upstairs. Um, the kids are home from school. And so, you know, you know, just kids, you know. So anyway, um, we'll see if BZ sticks around. But I thought we would try to see maybe what the Law of Attraction or the Water Oracle will want to know. What can we learn about them? BZ, which one do you want? That one? Or this one? Okay. Alrighty. The cat has spoken. Now, BZ, let's get a better shot on that. BZ has the eye raw on the side of him. Galaxy, BZ's taking your job. If you would like to donate to BZ's channel, you can cash it at St. Gene of the Soul. Uh, okay, let's be for real. The law of vibration. Practice the art of not knowing and start flowing. Hi, baby. Hmm, this must be the one Galaxy picked up on. Oh, it was okay. The law of relativity. You are divinely perfect. Live in your truth. Look at this. Look at that. My hands are dirty for being outside. I don't give a shit. Look at that. Sacred knowledge. Those messages that are in the columns. Yeah. You're not, you're not going to have all the answers you need to get started. You're not going to... Um, I know this has been kind of like a... A collective type of thing um, and, and I have to tell myself this too you're not gonna have everything you need in the moment to start this endeavor to start this thing any step forward is a step you have to start somewhere you're in alignment in your vibration and sometimes in, in my personal opinion and my experiences is that sometimes spirit is testing us to see if we're gonna take that leap how much faith do you have in the divine because spirit is saying that you need to just take that leap and just go with the flow and trust and have faith. Busy. What do we need to surrender to? I'm gonna do it in front of you, Busy. Sorry. Can you guys still see? I want to get a good shuffle in. Woo! Hey ho! I always hit the phone. Surrender to the idea that you can fix someone. She's on her. Is that a? Oh, she's on the tree, holding on to a vine, with the arrows in her back and her satchel. It's time for relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing didn't I just sit up the other day we have to be account thank you spirit this is kind of like I did a message I think it was the one that was yeah it was the one I think that was in my car and I also probably when I was in the woods last time too but we're all responsible for our own healing nobody can fix you nobody you know um you have to find what and I this is just my opinion also that you have to find whatever answers the divine wants you to have for you based on your growth and your healing. It's not that we can't all share knowledge and experiences, but a lot of us have, you know, we've worked really, really hard to get the spaces that we're in right now. And it's through that hard work, it's through that healing that we got our own messages, our own ways of healing through the divine. And so if there's, you know, somebody in your energy that you're like trying to help a lot, or you just, you know, I'm not saying it, I, I think, we all have different purposes in life, and there are those of us that's the purpose to wake other people up. They feel that's their mission, and that's fine. That's not the majority of us. That's still, I would still challenge some of you if you if you're someone who tends to do this, like you know you always like and must be not helping people, but you know being in situations or things that no longer serve you um, because you're trying to help them, you see the good in them. You know, um, spirit is saying that that is like, you know. It's not your job to fix people. Maybe you should try to fix yourself. 
was life. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to come out that way, but I'm just... The bigger rooted, deeper, the deeper issue is that no matter how many people you try to fix, it's not going to change the fact that the childhood that you had was, wasn't the child that you should, the childhood you should have had. You should have been protected. You should have been protected. You should have had safety and security and stability in your home and you didn't. And so by you, like um, whoever this is for, by thinking you can fix other people, it's almost like this thing that you, you're trying to be what you didn't have as a child, but that's, that's an unhealed wound. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's not to be in a negative way. It's just, if you really want to heal that, where you're always trying to fix people, and you're always wondering why you may get hurt in situations or taken advantage of, or, or that abandonment wound always gets triggered. I, I understand because I've been in this position. I felt a lot. I felt those feelings before. And it wasn't until I realized that I needed to put my energy into me for once and fix and heal myself. Because I can't change anybody but me. I can't change what anybody says or does or what they don't do. We're not responsible for anybody's healing and anybody else's journey but our own. And through our own journey, through our own healing, then we can show through our own walk, truly, and how certain things can be done or, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just trying to still do it under certain messages. Anyway. So, thank you, BZ. Everybody thank BZ. Hey, Mr. BZ. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's the healer. Anyway, I hope everybody is healthy and happy, full of joy. May you love and be loved. Heal. See you on harm.